Dubai I 103.8. 103.8. 103.8. 103.8. We turn our attention to um, a feat of endurance, a feat of stamina, uh, and a feat to rise awareness. Um, an Emirati executive director of the Emirates Centre for Strategic Studies and Research has taken up an unprecedented challenge, uh, to which we will find out more in just a few moments' time. Dr. Khalid Al Sawadi is no stranger to challenges. In fact, earlier on this year, in February, in fact, he ran 327 kilometres from Fujairah to Abu Dhabi in 80 hours, during which he didn't sleep for more than three hours to raise awareness about the Cancer Patient Care Society, Rama. Um, he joins us now live on the line. Dr. al Sawedi. thank you so much indeed for taking time to speak to us. Uh, you're welcome. Good afternoon, guys. It's always a pleasure to be on your show. Listen, just before we get into the new challenge that you've set yourself and are in the midst of training for, let's just get your reflections on 2018 as it comes to a conclusion. Um, and, of course, those extraordinary street, the feats of stamina that you achieved back in February of this year. For listeners that were unaware of that previous run for the uh, for Rama, the Cancer pa Patients Care Society, tell us what, what prompted you to uh, complete that run earlier on this year? Uh, well, uh, the story is a, it's an incredible journey. Uh, you know, I was obese in 2015. Uh, I was going through a lot of health issues and uh, I wanted to challenge myself. And uh, through research, I found something called an ultra marathon. Uh, because I disliked running, I thought running would strengthen my mind. Um, and, uh, you know, in three months prior to this ultra marathon, I actually started running uh, somewhat professionally, putting on the miles. Uh, and so I can honestly say that three months, it took me three months to get myself prepared to run a 327 kilometer, uh, what, what I would consider a nonstop run from Fujairah to Abu Dhabi. Uh, and what's more important was I wanted to give back to my community. Uh, you know, I feel like it's, uh, it's our duty as community members to give back to community, the community through uh, various uh, things. And I chose running as one of them. Uh, it wasn't easy. Uh, but it was uh, doable because I put myself through um, extreme tra training uh, regimen and I was uh, men more mentally prepared uh, than I could, could ever be uh, to run that run from Fujairah uh, to Abu Dhabi. So, uh, you know, my message is anything's possible once you have this um, a vision mm. and you have a goal in mind and you understand that, you know, in order to learn a lot about yourself sometimes, you have to suffer a little bit. Uh, and so that's what I've been saying uh, to a lot of people, you know, uh, we have to get out of our comfort zones sometimes uh, to learn a lot of things about ourselves. Uh, you know, we can't learn anything about ourselves in a comfort zone. You mentioned there about um, doing it for the community as well. That previous run was for family. It's for the wider community here in the UAE. The new challenge that you've set yourself, which you're in the midst of training for at the moment, is again community driven, but more brother relations uh, within uh, the, the the region at the moment. Um, is it, I've been told as well that it's to do with the relationships between the UAE and Saudi Arabia. How will you look to unite those two countries through running? Well, you know what? These countries uh, are, uh, the, the UAE and Saudi Arabia are united for, for, for many, many years. Uh, you know, my run uh, is a small uh, symbol of appreciation towards a brotherly relationship that, I mean, if I run from here to Australia, it won't even uh, mat matter uh, uh, or even give a thought process to this, to this extreme brotherly relationship. But it's a sign of, of gratitude. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the UAE and Saudi Arabia, um, uh, are, are in tune with many, many things in order to make our lives a safer place. Uh, you know, we live in, uh, alhamdulillah, very, very safe countries. Mm. Uh, and um, it's just a, a symbol uh, of gratitude towards these brotherly uh, relations. And, and, and also, you know, as a Muslim, you know, running uh, to, to, towards uh, the holiest place on earth uh, and getting there by foot is also something really, really special. So uh, there's many factors in uh, this is a, you know, it's a, very national run. I'm very proud that I'm taking part in this run. It's not an easy feat. Uh, you know, it's uh, 2,070 kilometers uh, to get there, uh, an average of 53 to 55 kilometers a day for 38 days. Uh, but um, more importantly, that the message is that, um, you know, giving back to the community could be through so many different aspects. It could be through running uh, and many other things. And I've given many lectures 
uh, here in the UAE. And uh, I, I stress about giving back to community, sharing your experience. Uh, the only reason I believe that I'm capable of getting to Mecca um, is because I believe in myself. And uh, we all have to have self-confidence uh, in anything we, we approach. And I really, really, truly believe that uh, with hard work and dedication and the right message, I mean, you always have to know why you're doing something. If you don't know why you're doing something, then I wouldn't do it at all because you're not going to give yourself that 100% chance of completing the task. And I know why I'm running to Mecca. Uh, there's many, many reasons why I'm running. And the most important reason is to commemorate the brother relationship between the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Over 2,000 over two kilometres, as you mentioned there, um, to be run from Abu Dhabi to Mecca. And uh, I mean, it's going to be physical, it's going to be mental, it's going to be psychological. How on earth do you prepare for a challenge like that? Well, uh, you know, I've, I've been preparing actually for the last, uh, I, I would say, 10 months. I, um, I, I, I've been averaging over the last maybe three weeks around 53 kilometers a day, w- running and walking. Uh, uh, to, tomorrow, actually, is a very special day. I'm going to be running uh, on the Emirates Road, cutting through Ajman uh, and Umul uh which will make me complete all the seven Emirates. I'll be, I'll, I, will, I would have run in all seven Emirates in the UAE. Um, and um, I've just been training in, in very, very difficult conditions in the middle of deserts, uh, on mountains, um, uh, altitude. Um, um, but my food is very important, obviously. I think um, many people uh, ask me what I eat all the time. I think, um, uh, you know, I'm a plant-based eater uh, 90% of the time. I do eat fish on Tuesdays and Fridays. But uh, this is, I have a system in place. Uh, I have a great team around me. And um, uh, through trial and error, I created a great uh, system in, which enables me to, you know, uh, run 55 kilometers a day for 38 days. Uh, if you ask me if I'm ready uh, to run tomorrow, I'll, I would tell you, yes, I am. In terms of when you set off on this journey and when you expect to arrive in uh, Mecca, can you give us some dates and times on that? Well, I start my run on February 1st. And... Uh, I'm hoping to complete it in 38 to 40 days. Wow, amazing stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, Dr. Khaled al uh, we are all 100% behind you, as I'm sure the entire nation and the entire region is as well. Uh, is there any thinking ahead as to how people can track your progress come the race itself? Will there be able to be updates on it? Of course. I have a website uh, coming out uh, next week, which is Khaled al uh, AE. Um, I also, um, uh, there, there will also be a press conference uh, in the next coming uh, few weeks uh, with details about my run. Uh, there will also be a, lo- a, a tracker um, to show uh, when I will start my run. And um, I also have a book out, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, I, right. I just released a book out called The Secret Is, There Is No Secret. Uh, and this book is, uh, the Arab version, version is already out. The English version is coming out in the next, for, uh, 12 days and it's a, uh, I, I put it my heart and soul into this book you know it's just in a sharing my experience of how, how I went from um, an individual who is you know made, uh, an academic all his life uh, that was obese and uh, you know through um, getting out of his comfort zone and learning a lot about himself became this ultra ultra runner uh, that completed my run from Fajr to Abu Dhabi and the reasons behind it uh, it's, uh, I, I really think, uh, you know, I put a lot of effort in this book. I speak about emotional intelligence, uh, how once uh, you can control the mind, the body will follow. Uh, and I would highly recommend people to read this book as well. Indeed, we will. Well, Khaled, I'm going to let you get on now with more training, I'm sure. Uh, all the best. We'll certainly talk to you before you set off on your uh, latest uh, challenge. But thank you so much indeed for sharing with us. All the best with the book. And of course, we'll drive more people towards that website once it's live. But for now, thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day, guys. Khaled al did there. Joining us live on the line. This is Dubai Eye 103.8.